My name is John Bechtel. I bring greetings and solidarity from the Communist Party. This is in Chicago. We are here, marching side by side. We'll sleep here. Hey guys, what does the red flag mean? Communism? Yes, sir. You guys are communists? Yes, sir. Is that what this protest is about? We're just here to support, comrade. Gotcha. What do you think the message is of the protest? You guys are hearing it right now, man. We are the 99%. We're the 99%. The president is leading us. He is referring now to the 99%, uh, expressing sympathies for the frustrations. Uh, so now he's got the communists. He's got the American Nazi Party. Oh, and that's right. He's got the anti-Semite public employee unions. Patricia McAllister, I'm here representing myself, but I do work for the Los Angeles Unified School District. Ah. And I think that uh, the Zionist Jews who are running these big banks in our Federal Reserve, which is not run by the federal government, they need to be run out of this country. Well, so why is the president attaching himself to this movement? Why, why would he get out in front of this? And, and why would he make these Obama mobs? What, what could he possibly gain from this none of the clips we're playing will be played in the mainstream media uh dylan in vermont i i am a student here in vermont yes. and uh this past weekend i decided i wanted to go down with a group of students to zakati park yep. to listen and judge for myself what is happening there and to speak with the people that are congregating yes and i can tell you that i would not characterize the people of zakati park nor the occupy movement as a mob nor would i characterize the tea party as a mob Rather, I see it as a... Really? Did you see what happened in Times Square? Uh, I was present in Times Square. I went down and saw it. And you don't I, think that's a mob? I do not consider that a mob, my friend. Well, that, well listen, that my friend, uh, people can judge for themselves, but you saw those pictures of these people streaming out of the subways, uh, mobbing Times Square. I, I don't know what else you could call it. You, you think that was an organized, disciplined, regimented demonstration? That was certainly a show of political organization. That, in fact, is a right protection well, uh, of the United States Constitution. Why are they there? No, what is the purpose of this demonstration? Well, see, that is the interesting thing, and the media seems to have a, quite a fascination. Oh, come on, get off it. Just tell me the answer. Right. Well, you're trying to pin down a cause, but what I saw in Zuccotti Park was people discussing ideas. People, Republicans, Democrats, yeah, conservatives, sure. uh, you know, all ends of the political spectrum were present. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, what, what does the uh, mob want? Yeah, well, I wouldn't call it a mob. What I would call it is a, well, what does a mob dialogue. Want? They're after a dialogue. A That's dialogue. political conversation. A That's political discourse. conversation. About to what, what end? Name. Come again? To what end? I I would not speak for their end. My particular end, as a concerned Vermonter uh, waiting on FEMA funding to help us with our roads here, would be to end political gridlock. Let's get this country moving again. Uh -huh. Well, uh, you know, people always say that when they want the other side to adopt uh, their ideas and uh, without a whimper. I, I don't like your ideas. I don't like President Obama's ideas about how to get the country going again. And I don't find a lot of people dialoguing with me or Republicans. I hear, I hear them yelling well, at me, telling me, do this or else. After all, I, that's I, what the president's out doing right now. You mm -hmm. know what he's saying on this bus tour in Virginia? He's mocking Republicans, demanding, saying they're too simple. They're too simple-minded to understand the whole jobs bill, so he's going to break it up and take it one piece at a time. I, I see what you're saying, Mr. Gibson, and I, I sympathize with the fact that you feel as though your voice isn't being heard. However, that isn't if you're what I think. about your voice being heard, listen to the voice of what you're... Uh, the voice of... Oh, all. really? Yeah, the voices are incomprehensible. How about this guy? Uh, this is a guy from uh, Zuccotti Park uh, just a few days ago. Help! Now, help us now! Help us! They don't want to do this. <laughs> these people up there, these souls in their fucking yachts, they aren't in here, and they are not in our country. They are not American. Get them the fuck out of here! Get them the fuck out of here! This is ours. This is Liberty Plaza. We are taking. 
get farther, like the future cars are gonna have more mileage and more sustainable stars than on the flag. We're gonna make our forefathers feel like they are our dads and not sad and rolling in the grave because we are gonna save our country. Save our country! Come with us. Come with us. Do you feel this? Because we feel you. We are making history. Come, Come. join us now. We need your help. This is not the way America is supposed to, to be. be. Uh, Dylan? Don't you just think that's kind of like a version of me and Rich doing blue blah? <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, they've been listening to the show. Uh, Dylan, does that sound like you're dialoguing? What I would say is this, is that within every group, there are elements that are extreme. He's However, one of the, the organizers. Voice, His the name was Edward Hall. I'm not speaking to the organizers. I'm okay. speaking to my own experience. So I'm speaking to an individual experience here. And that guy, Edward T. Hall III, Dylan, is a trust fund baby who has been uh, arrested a couple of times. The last time he was arrested at JFK, uh, trying to uh, stow away on an airplane through the baggage carousel. Uh, and now he is one of the organizers of your dialoguing experience down there. It's, I believe that it is everyone's dialogue. It's easy for the media to pinpoint a few well, uh, 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 voices, uh, uh, a but few. Sir, there's uh, moderation uh, in opinion. Uh, okay, wait a, wait a second, wait a second. How many How many would I have to play? We're really tired of the government f***ing everyone over. And uh, there's a lot of stuff that uh, needs to change, and if it doesn't, like... What do you think? What do you think can change to make things better? Um, the thirteen families in the world, including George Bush and his administration, get them in front of the White House and hang them and shoot them because ah. they deserve that. Okay, George Bush, uh, get him in front of the White House, hang him and shoot him. Yes. What I would suggest yes, is go down to you the agree? Park and talk to the people. Because until you do, all that you are doing is plucking examples that are extreme. And uh, how about this one? Walking. Here's a guy who's leading it down there. On Monday in this, the Capitol, they had the audacity to turn down a jobs bill. So if you won't get the jobs bill done in the suite, then we will get the jobs bill done in the street. Uh, that's the Reverend Al, Dylan, uh, saying we're going to get this done in the street. Class warfare. This sounds like a mob to me, and it well, sounds like a mob being uh, led by the president. Al Sharpton was not present at the protests. Well, um, I don't mean, one so on the one day you were there, he's been there all last week. He's had his TV I was show there from for there. three days straight. I slept in the park. I spoke with people. And I can tell you, if you want to present a fair and balanced view, go down and speak yourself. Dylan, I have been there. The it's on my way home. I go by there. I see them. I try to get close. You know, the smell is kind of overpowering. With conservative businessmen, with liberal, with Dylan, liberal break. individuals, with moderates, with Dylan, extremists. you are lying through your teeth. You are trying to make this mob sound like a Boy Scout meeting. It's not, and anybody can hear it. If you want to be in denial, fine, but I'm not going to be. Well, this has been a very constructive conversation. I'm sorry to hear the thoughts. What, what are, what are one of your demands? What, what, give me one concrete thing you want. What do I want? Yeah. What I want more than anything for my country and for my state is moderation again. We have the ability to build roads in this country, and yet we're held up in political Excuse me, locks. Dylan. Uh, what happened uh, when uh, the president got a $887 billion worth of road construction through? Did we do any road construction? Well, I'm not going to sit back and support President Barack Obama's uh, fiscal spending in the early days of the recovery. I think it was an abject failure. Well, he's out selling the jobs plan, which is a mini version of that right now, uh, invoking your, your Wall Street protesters. Uh, what the president does is political posturing. I want you to realize that politicians posture, but the real needs of people, that is reality, my friend. And until we what are you? Politics, what, what is this friend's crap? What are you, a college? Are you working on being a college professor? What is this uh, attitude? What is this condescension? This, what is sir, this, this, is, what this, is this, this tone of this, voice? This is the attitude of Vermont politics. You know, I have a campaign oh, here Vermont, in a little bit with a Vermont Vermont. senator. This you got a plaid shirt, here. buddy? You got a I'm Subaru? You no, got a I Dean sticker a on your Subaru? 
you must really enjoy putting people down on your program. I mean, that's well, really Well, when great. they call up and act like idiots, yeah, I actually do find it kind of fun. Yeah, well, I appreciate uh, the chance to sit here and mm -hmm. you make yourself sound like a moron. That's fine. Oh, I you see. Know? Now we're getting down to name-calling. We sure are. Yep, after you insult me for driving a Subaru. Well, <laughs> well, all that I would say is this. <laughs> this country needs leadership. I don't believe we get it by scapegoating others. Go down to Zuccotti Park. I'll tell you what. Would you listen to my ideas for how to get the economy going so all these people had jobs? I, I listen to ideas. Of I, all I don't think Go so. Ahead. I, 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 I don't think you listen to Republican ideas. Your attitude is the same as Obama's. We won. I won. We're going to do it my way. If you don't do it my way, I'm going to say there's a lack of moderation here. There's a lack of cooperation. You're being obstructionist. The only way that you can get out from under the obstructionist label is to do what I want. You, What you want didn't work before, and you want me to do it again. I don't want to. John Gibson of Fixed News, today's worst person in the world. Always striving to be the worst to bathtub boy. You should crawl off into a hole and die. But the best to you. John Gibson.